Well, she was mean to us. She was mean to me, though, because we, I got Nathan's bicycle, and she said, you better not walk on my bike, on my uh, mama's uh, front. And Carlene Copeland, she was older than me. Doris was three years older than me. And they went across the line, went in front of her house. So I grabbed up uh, Nathan's bicycle, a boy's bicycle, and me little like this, and I pedaled on one foot. And when I got to her house, I, hmm. <laughs> I grabbed her in the face and scratched her. She said, you better run, you little devil. Oh, oh yes. I know, uh, I know Bernard said that him and Nathan, uh, they got in a lot of trouble. Oh, when yes. When they were young. Oh, there's the ones who got in trouble, believe me. And, uh, I know Harold, uh, he was in the, he shipped out. And, Merchant uh, Marine. He was the first one to ship out in the, uh, he was the first one, yeah. And he was six, uh, he was 15, Uncle Bobby, was chief of police, and also one of my steamship company. And he got Harold on the boat first, shipped him out. And then, he, then Irvin became 16, and back then they weren't so particular, you know. They got, uh, Irvin on the ship, so Irvin and Harold got on the ship, and I every mean, dance both of them didn't get married, and didn't leave Mama, Mama didn't have much money, but that was the best time. Well, I didn't know uh, Nathan got married, Nathan. Well, I, they claimed, um, I said Nathan, well, Nathan did, I did hear that he got married, I saw a picture of him with oh. a girl sitting on his lap. Yeah, 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 I've seen that picture. Uh, and Bernard got married to an English girl. Okay. Both of them. I saw a picture of Nathan with his uniform on, uh, and the girl was sitting on his lap. And, uh, well, I, I, I was told uh, by Nathan that he was only married to her for about six months. Yeah. You're much short. But, uh... That's what I was told, too. But, uh... Bernard was how many times was he married? Well, let me see. Bernard was married to English girl. I don't know if he went with them other girls or just dating or uh, if he what do you call it? Uh, married to him. I don't know which, but they all had girlfriends. They oh yeah, they. Oh, they had a tough time. They had a ship. Uh, Nathan had uh, two ships blowed up from under him, and he got in the water. It was German, not Japanese, German, and it was cold water. It was so small. And uh, he fro his feet froze. Yeah, I heard he had frostbite. And uh, but the they uh, they come. Somebody picked him up from the United States. You know they. He was on the raft, and he said every time that plane, the plane would dive mm -hmm. for him, he'd go, uh, he'd go under, he's a great swimmer, like Louise is, and uh, he'd go under that raft, and they couldn't, he was just finally, they didn't think it was anything. Uh, Bernard said that one of his best friends he saw uh, catch a fire and burn up, that he had a best friend. I think that was Nathan, wasn't it? That was Nathan, yeah. Nathan, uh, Bernard said that Nathan, yeah, had a, had a, uh, one of his best friends, he saw him. Burn up on the ship, yeah. You know anything about that? He couldn't do nothing about it because the whole ship, half the ship was on fire. Mm -hmm. All he could do was jump overboard and save his, mm -hmm. and, and it worried Nathan. I think that's why he drank a lot, too. Uh, it was his best friend. And that's hard to, uh, that's hard to, to go by, you know, your best friend, and him hollering for you. He was hollering for Nathan? Hollering to help him. And Nathan couldn't get to him. 
He was dodging bullets up under the cold water from Germany. Huh. And uh, I know it would make you feel bad like you would, would want to go in that fire with him. But you want you to, you know, you want to save your life too. Yeah. <laughs> 